This presentation is for the Urban Futures Unit using Birmingham as our city in an AC country. It's based on Birmingham's plan to sustainably improve all parts of transport within the city over time. As you can see, it's all about how sustainable the plan is. This means we'll be looking at how Birmingham is trying to improve the different ways people can move around the city in a cleaner and healthier way. Birmingham Council has created a development plan whereby 2031 they hope to have greatly improved the city and made it more sustainable for the growing population. The screen shows a very small part of the plan based on transport and improving movement around Birmingham. The main aim of these changes are to make life better for people living there so they can get around easily and be more healthy using more walking and cycle routes where possible in the centre. Pause the show and have a read it around the plan. An integrated transport plan means looking at trying to improve all the different ways people move around Birmingham so it's more cost and energy efficient. One improvement is with the Metro. There is a massive 1.3 billion investment program to make the network much larger in Birmingham. The aim is to get more people to use the clean energy electric trams which can hold over 200 people at a time and therefore reduce lots of car journeys coming into the city centre. Pause the show and look at the benefits of the metro expansion in Birmingham. Another part of the integrated transport plan is the HS2 expansion. A brand new station on Curzon Street is to be built on old industrial wasteland. This site is known as a brownfield site, which makes it very sustainable since it's reusing all polluted land and the new station will also be very energy efficient. It's hoped that the HS2 will also help regenerate the local economy and have a knock-on effect, known as a positive multiplier, by creating lots of new jobs as the station opens and brings new customers into Birmingham. There are, however, some drawbacks to this very expensive HS2 train plan, with more wealthy residents expected to commute to London rather than remaining and working in Birmingham. Pause the show and look at the impact of HS2, with the good and bad points. Another part of the integrated plan is the introduction of a clean air zone expected in 2020. The aim of this is to massively improve air quality within Birmingham Ring Road by reducing the amount of diesel and petrol emissions in that area. This is because the nitrogen oxides and carbon emissions are reducing residents' life expectancy. By charging polluting cars, it will reduce the amount of polluting traffic into the CBD. There are, however, issues with regard to people who already live there but can't afford to buy an electric car, or the added expenses for lorries and buses that have to go into the city every day. Pause the show and look at this part of the integrated transport plan. Here we can see another way of looking at the benefits from this integrated transport plan. This shows the ways that it will help Birmingham economically by using the money from the transport schemes to invest in the public provision of footpaths and cycleways. This will also bring social benefits with much greater access to reliable public transport. The plan will also provide Birmingham with environmental benefits, which will hopefully improve the quality of life for its residents and visitors to the centre. Pause the show and look at the economic, social and environmental benefits of the transport plan. This slide gives an overview all about the Birmingham Integrated Transport Plan set up by Birmingham Council. Read over the points to ensure that you can write about what the scheme is, why it has been set up and the good and bad points to this initiative. Pause the show to double check your answers before moving on to have a go at the exam question. This exam question from 2019 uses discuss as its command word. This means you'd be expected to give both benefits and problems of the integrated transport plan along with a conclusion. Without giving an overall conclusion, you will not reach top marks. Best answers need to explain how Birmingham will be more sustainable due to them implementing this transport initiative. Now, have a go at the exam question using your notes. 